So today we're going to make the second half of the Molina costume, the mask, necklace, and all the armor. So starting with the mask, something we probably all have a lot of practice at making by now, cut two pieces in this shape. You can either draw it or the pattern is in the pattern's vault. And put them right sides together and sew just the front edge. And then once it's sewn, you can unfold it. Spread it out flat, and then you want to poke holes on either side of that center seam. This is just like what we did on the top in the first video. Poke the holes and then thread a large eyed needle with a strip of distressed fabric and use that as thread to make all the little lines. So it'll look like these little fake leather lines are holding the mass together, even though the sewing seam is what's actually holding it together. So just go all the way down that just like that and then you'll just take a piece of elastic and sew the edges to either side of the mask so i didn't do the neck part but if you want to just cut a strip of the alova just a rectangle and put some velcro on the back and then of course you can do all the holes and the sewing the little fake leather lines down i didn't do it because i find it uncomfortable so for the necklace just cut a circle of cardboard give it a coating of glossy black paint and then with a dry brush, give it a very sloppy coat of metallic gold. And you want to brush it enough so that some of the black shows through. And that'll give it kind of an aged gold look. So then take a piece of brown distressed fabric, just a thin piece. Pull the loop through the center of the circle. And then the loose ends, just run those through that loop to connect it whoops, to your little gold circle necklace. And then those two loose pieces will just tie around your neck to tie the necklace on. So for the shoulder armor, I cut a few wonky pieces. Um, I didn't include these in the pattern because it'll just depend on how big your shoulders are. So just cut some brown distressed fabric around those. And then fold it up around them and sew them in place. And that gives you a nice imitation leather look. As soon as you put this stuff around Pellon, it really looks like leather. So just sew those together at the three lines so that it stays together. And then in the two corners, you'll drill a hole, stick in a gold paper fastener, spread the tails out on the back side. And do that to both corners. And then on either side of that center seam, just like before, poke all the holes. And then use your little leather strip as a piece of thread and thread all the way around those in your nice sewing look. And so then take the top that you made in the first video and you're just going to attach those big chunks of armor to the shoulder where your shoulders will be. Do the same thing on both sides obviously. So for the arm armor, just cut out these little triangular topped rectangles. Cut a matching piece of the maroon alova a little bit bigger than the pelon and fold the sides up over the pelon and sew those in place just like that. And then poke some holes in the middle as if there was a center seam even though it's not in this one. Just poke the holes and then thread all the holes with a strip of brown distress fabric giving you little lines like that that look like leather even though they're not. And then just take a piece of elastic and you'll sew the ends of the elastic right in the center on either side. And so that way you'll be able to just slide that up over your arm and the elastic will hold that in place. And so for the bracers, just cut a bunch of oddly shaped rectangles. You can have points on a few. You're going to need nine for each bracer and they just get stacked on top of one another. Lay them out first, it helps. And then once again, I've done this a lot in this costume, take your nice pointy object, poke all your little holes, and then take your strip of distress fabric on your needle and sew those together. And in this case, I'm not sewing them together first with the sewing machine. Um, the distress fabric is what's actually holding these together. So you end up with three groups of three. This is for each bracer and stack those on top of each other. And then where the groups meet, you do want to run a sewing line across there with a the hand sewing or machine. So then on the back side, you'll take two pieces of elastic, one on either end, and sew the ends of the elastic down. So one will go over your wrist and one will go over the upper part of your arm, of your, your forearm. You'll be able to just slide that on. And you'll notice that the uh, 
outer pieces I didn't put pellon in just to make it easier to fold around my arm. So then I just got a black wig. And then for the boots, I did not put the maroon on the boots because I was running out of time, so I just used the boots plain. And then the size were actually my aunt's from when she used to do karate. Otherwise, you can just make these out of cardboard. Molina, why do you wear the mask? Well, I went to get my COVID vaccine, but before they gave me the shot, I may have accidentally eaten the doctor.